This week we're exploring some place we've wanted to visit for a long time. Welcome to Puerto Morelos. Stingrays. Ah, gracias. Oh, 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 gracias. And we find food so good. Sample? Oh my goodness. Katie loses her mind. But the chicken is so good. I gotta talk to the chicken. This is definitely my favorite chitrawi that I've been in. Andy, this is what you gotta live up to. So slap a blank cave in the VCR. <laughs> Record that. Put it on loop. <laughs> Let's go. Where do we go from? Where do we go from here? Welcome home for the next couple weeks. What an adorable little place. And rumor has it, it has a little pool upstairs too. We're trying a place right around the corner from our house. And my favorite drink in Mexico, a mica. Mm. Habanero, chili de arbol, and then that's tomato sauce. There's a little gecko up there, and he's moving his head. <laughs> it's so cute. Oh, oh wow. Empanada oh, wow. y sabute. I ordered a sabute and an empanada, but I, I cannot remember what's in them. Mmm. Chicken. This plain chicken. Outside is really crunchy with the mouth is watering. With crema. And this one, I also ordered chicken. It's really good. Do you have an arrow to go on there? Uh no, no half arrow for me. <laughs> I'll pass on that one. Ah, uh, gracias. Now what did you order? That one's chicken. <laughs> that one doesn't have any um, beans in it. It doesn't have the nice sides. So far, I really like it. The rain picked up. We had to move indoors. <laughs> we'll definitely go back there. All that food was less than $10 and it was delicious. Welcome to Puerto Morelos. Because the fishermen clean their catch here, but there are always just a bunch of stingrays down here. They're gorgeous. This is Sunday. It seems to be a lot more busy than the other days. Apparently, the main square is under construction. Restaurants and shops are open, but this dive shop is not. Look at him. This is totally officially licensed. <laughs> Rips. We smelled this place and had to stop. To go only closed Wednesday. 280 pesos for a kilo of ribs. That's like 13, 14 bucks. And 140 pesos for a big old roast chicken. Can't beat that. Doesn't turn out well on the GoPro, but there is a giant eagle right there. And their nest is right there and has a little baby eagle in it. <laughs> you have a lot to say. Yeah, I know. Katie's making friends. <laughs> Don't come to me, I'm allergic. <laughs> Oh, 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 gracias. Sample? Oh my goodness. Oh, that's juicy. Wow. Mm. This was a good find. One million more for a good chicken.
Uh, we brought this all back to the house, got all my eating clothes. Now it's time to taste it. These beans have onions and I saw some ham in there. Mm. You can tell he's been cooking these for half the day. Those are really good. Have a little bit of spice to them with uh, lime. These are special. And they have the bone, which I love bones. Oh. I wasn't recording when you took your first bite and realized that they were spicy for the first time. That was great, but. Oh. <laughs> they do have a kick to them. But now let's try the chicken. Mm. Smoky flavor with lime. You talked to the chicken the whole time. But the chicken is so good. I got to talk to the chicken. Uh, the chicken is moist. It has a little bit of lime. Uh, it's not spicy like the ribs, but we found a gem of a place. It's Chilequiles at Tuchtlan yet again. So full disclosure, we have eaten at this place every day for our first week in Puerto Morelos. Food's amazing. The chilequiles are the best chilequiles that I've had anywhere. And chilequiles, which are also called breakfast nachos, are uh, something that I'm pretty familiar with. We've tried the chicken, we've tried the egg. They're amazing. And the empanadas are definitely some of the best that I've had in the world. So Tuchtlan is an affordable, delicious option, and we really need to branch out a little more. I agree. All of that four empanadas, that giant plate of chilaquiles and Jamaica for just under ten dollars. Legitimately two meals, but I eat double and a half, so can't beat the deal. Absolutely incredible food. Angry company. I agree. This is definitely my favorite chitrawi that I've been in. Tillamo cheese, thumbs up for the hometown. It's mango season. Time to check out and head to dinner. Fifth time's the charm. We keep coming by and it's finally open. <laughs> Our little piece of heaven. Andy, this is what you gotta live up to. This is the Mixo Viche. A little bit of everything. Not bad. Lots of lime. It does taste fishy. One of the kind of red flags we've developed on people recommending restaurants is if they say, oh, this is my favorite restaurant, and then all they tell you about are the drinks, that's a warning sign. So what do you think of your Trish tacos? Well, the Trish tacos were 10. They were fantastic. Yeah, they had some flavor. I can't say enough good things about them. Everything else was eh. Yeah. My chicken paprika tacos had absolutely zero flavor, nothing nothing on them which is strange for a place that made another dish that was good and then the ceviche was a little fishy and other than that no flavor so um, can't recommend blue and it's not that cheap compared to other places around unless you come for the church tacos yeah if you just come for that go for it because those were awesome oh, oh, yeah. <laughs> what was you gonna say i just say i 100 agree with you <laughs> oh i love that <laughs> record that put it on loop Thumbs up and 
Subscribe. No, no, that was good. That was good. That was good. <laughs>